Hello everybody. It's the 23rd of 23rd of October. It's Tuesday. It's at the morning. And we're on the wheel again. I seem to get off this wheel. I spend my life on this wheel. <laughs> okay, right. So what we're we doing today? Well, just centering up this lump of clay here, going down, pulling across the base. When you're doing that, by the way, you can always put in the needle there just to just to check your your thickness if you if you need to, you know. Right now, we're going to lift up. What we're making is an olive oil jar. So, when you lift, keep the clay collared in at the top. Never let it get wide. Okay. It's a nice, steady, smooth lifting action. Bring that up. Now, this is a pot that's got a kind of bulbous bottom end down here and a narrow neck at the top hope my head's not in the way my head does get in the way I apologise Now, because it's a narrow, a narrow neck um, form, I've got to close it in. It means that anything that I'm doing down the bottom, I've got to, f I've got to finish now at this stage. So any bringing up of clay, etc., it's got to be done now. And general shaping of the of the base there, we've done at this stage. Now I'm going to just. Mop it out with that. Now I'm going to collar it. To keep that narrowness that I was talking about at the top. Keep your hands well. Enough water. Now I'm pulling up the, the last section at the top here. Lifting up the clay. Dee, 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 dee. There we go. Now, as you, when you collar in like this, like I'm doing, the, in the process of collaring, of course, the thickness here gets a lot thicker because you've had to compress the clay, but it also goes higher. All right. Now the top bit of the pot here, you get a former little neck. All right, and one another thing that happens, of course, when you collar in, as I expect you to know, you do get often a bit of an irregularity so I'm just going to cut that off with a needle Consart, right now I'm not quite happy with the shape at the moment it's, it hasn't got a slender enough neck so I'm just going to collar that in more like that I'm looking over there as well as doing this I'm looking into my mirror to just to, to over there I've got a mirror to assist me okay bring it up now I'm forming the top there now this is a bit of a squat one 
bit squatter than it should be, but I don't mind a little bit of variation in a more of an individual item like um, an olive oil jar, which is probably a one-off. It's not a matching set. It hasn't got a so if I make a batch and there's a little bit of a little bit of vari variation there, I don't, I don't mind so long as it's variation on the same on the same theme. You know. Okay. Using my stick, which is a piece of metal, uh, just on the side. Right, I'm going to leather it. The stage. Now this is going to have a thrown stopper. It's going to go in the top there. It's going to have a, a strap handle off the side. All right. What I'm going to do now is just just thin it here, just pinch it all along the rim there, just for a short bit there. I'll turn it towards you. I'm now going to hold it and then I'm going to just pull out a, a little pouring lip, you see? There we have it. Okay. It's a little squatter than some of the others, but there you have it. Okay, folks, join me for the rest of this. Bye now.